So in this video, we're going to look at some examples of finding a fraction that is between two others. So in the first example, we have to find a fraction that is between 4 sevenths and 5 sevenths. And as I showed in the previous video, uh, there is a relatively straightforward way of doing this. If I multiply each of these numbers by 2, it's going to give me two equivalent fractions. An equivalent fraction for 4 sevenths, an equivalent fraction for 5 sevenths, and then I'm going to be able to spot a fraction in between. So if I multiply top and bottom of 4 sevenths by 2, I get 8 over 14. And if I do the same for 5 sevenths, I get 10 over 14. So a fraction that is between these two would be 9 over 14. And so that is a fraction that is between 4 sevenths and 5 sevenths. Let's take a look at question number 2. We've got 1 over 13 and 2 over 13. Well, let's do the same um, trick then. So 1 over 13 multiplied top and bottom by 2. I'm going to get 2 over 26. And the same for 2 over 13. I'm going to get 4 over 26. So a fraction that is between those two would be 3 over 26. So 3 over 26 is a fraction that is between 1 over 13 and 2 over 13. Now, in both those cases, I multiply top and bottom by 2. Uh, I could have done the same with 3. That would have been perfectly fine. So if I'd multiplied top and bottom of the second example by 3, we would have 3 over 39 and 6 over 39. So a fraction that is between those two would be 4 over 39 or 5 over 39. Either of those would be perfectly fine. And there you have a fraction that is between 1 over 13 and 2 over 13. OK, let's take a look at question number 3, because in these two examples, both the denominators have been the same, but in this case they're not. So we have 4 fifths and 19 over 20. So thankfully, 4 fifths, we can multiply top and bottom by 4 to get the denominators the same. So 4 fifths, if I multiply top and bottom by 4, I'm going to get 16 over 20. And my other fraction is 19 over 20. I'm not going to do anything to that. Because now I just need a fraction that is somewhere between those two, which would be uh, 17 over 20 or 18 over 20, for example. So 17 over 20, there is a fraction that is somewhere between 4 fifths and 19 over 20.